Navy recently began testing an old technology, an airship or blimp, to be used to address issues faced by troops in the U.S. Southern Command. At a recent demonstration of the airship's capabilities in Florida, analysts from the Center for Naval Analysis discussed the project and its cost benefits to the Navy. This is uh, the Navy's airship. This is uh, what they call the Flying Laboratory. It's, it's a really great test bed to be able to uh, test new technologies and sensors. We were able to uh, bring this airship down to be able to demonstrate some of the capabilities for the theater, for the Southcom theater, and the, sp the specific problem that we have uh, down there. We believe that between the cost savings and the wide uh, amount of uh, technology that we can put on board, we should be able to uh, make this uh, a win. Primarily for the savings we believe we'll get in terms of operating costs. Number two, for the persistence that it gives in being able to stay on station for a long period of time. Number three, because of the mix of technology that we can put inside of the, uh, the airbag here on the airship. Airships are capable of flying at heights of up to 9,500 feet and have a cruise speed of 50 miles per hour. The ship has space for one pilot and nine passengers and can be operated for 40% of the cost of traditional fixed-wing aircraft or helicopters, resulting in significant cost savings for the Navy. The airship program originally ran from 1921 to 1962 when it was decommissioned. It was reestablished in 2011 to offer an airborne laboratory for scientific and technological testing by the military. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Andrew Johnson.